Hello guys, this is Max. Welcome to my channel. I'm an osteopath and massage therapist here in Barcelona. I'm Italian, so my accent uh, is what it is. I will teach you the best technique you can use with your client, with your patient, to get rid of, in this case, of uh, back pain. We're going to work on mobility, mobility of the thoracic. And we have this beautiful model from Venezuela that uh, uh, she decided that uh, it was time for a good session to get rid of that tension in the back. As you can see for the structure, she has um, a big breast, so that can create, uh, um, in according with uh, gravity, uh, what is called a rounded shoulder. So we're going to work uh, on the trapezius, that is the muscle that is involved when we have a problem with gravity and uh, most of the time with a uh, tax neck uh, and uh, everything that is uh, make your posture go forward. So uh, we are trying to release uh, all this muscle, the splenius uh, and the, um, the trapezius with a massage. So she was uh, complaining about tension in the in the upper neck uh, at the level of C1, C2. So uh, when I uh, work on uh, on mobility, I found uh, really important to give uh, some uh, um, some movement in between uh, the vertebra. So this technique. I found it really helpful and uh, it's helpful because uh, sometimes uh, um, when the muscle is really tense, um, the client itself can have a fear of uh, doing certain movement. So with the help uh, of a therapist, you are able to uh, fight that fear and uh, restore the right um, joint uh, play joint mobility so you can work in flexion extension and you can even do circle like i'm doing and this is a, a play in a rotation so you can um, change uh, the way you hold uh, the um, the shoulder and the, the, the important thing when you apply this technique that you are comfortable and you have a good leverage and a good momentum on the uh, thoracic. Now we're going to work on the other side. Mostly this is a working rotation that uh, helps, yes, the joint play of the thoracic, but in the same time it helps all the rotator muscle, the multifidus, the longissimus, that are all these muscles that go from the sacro all the way into the occiput. Here we have uh, some more work. Uh, uh, she was really nice and uh, helpful because some people have difficulty into uh, maintaining uh, for a long time uh, this position. So I apply just the right amount of tension. Sometimes you can hear a pop. That's a, um, that's a, a vertebra that is uh, um, adjusting itself. And here some work on, on uh, translation. So you want to remember that you can work uh, on, the, um, on the vertebra, even uh, side bending the vertebra. So this is a, it's a great way to release all the tension in the lateral line from anatomy trains uh, and in the same time to find that, uh, uh, that work that is necessary to um, release all the lateral line that goes all the way uh, to your peroneals and all the way to the ankle and all the way up into the latissimus dorsis and sometimes even to the, the hands. So really great technique, guys. I, I hope you give a try. And now we are working on some active release technique on the TFL and the glute medius. It's always a, a lateral line. This muscle uh, sometimes are really tight. And actually, I would say uh, I haven't found yet somebody with uh, not 
uh, a tight uh, glute medius and not a tight TFL? Well, if you think about the same name itself is a uh, tensor fasciolata, that means that is tense. So it's difficult that it's not tense. It has to be tense to maintain uh, all the legs in the, um, in the lateral uh, compartment. So um, what I'm doing when I use the R technique is uh, to create uh, um, contraction of the muscle and then uh, an extension of the muscle or um, an eccentric uh, extension of the muscle. In that eccentric uh, extension, we are able to break all these fiber that uh, are being for some reason blocked uh, because overworking or because hypoxia or because uh, uh, some injury uh, coming from uh, uh, all of the sudden uh, tear or something. So what we're doing now is the working on a sauce. I'm asking the client to turn around while I'm playing and blocking the sauce and uh, move it and breaking all that adhesion. You always want to find your own rhythm when you do the, um, the activity of releasing the muscle. If you find the rhythm, it's better for the central nervous system, so it, it's able to uh, relax and release more GABA, more um, hormones that uh, help the parasympathetic system to really activate uh, and feel uh, more relaxed. We know massage is helpful locally, but it's even helpful in terms of um, what it does to the entire system. So finding the rhythm, finding the right um, balance between pain and pleasure can be really helpful, not in the local muscle that we're working, but in the general muscle. When I ask my client to just uh, create a... Uh, some movement into the hips to feel the um, to give a, herself a gentle massage of the sacro. Um, that's before I was uh, about to work on the on the quadriceps that are muscle that uh, are really tight. So she's stretching the psoas. And in that position, I was able to start working on the on the quad. So I'm using this time instead of shea butter, some cocoa butter. It's uh, give me a little bit more of slidiness of uh, on the on the legs. Even if when you work on qu on the on the quad, you want to do the art. It, you always want to be aware of how much uh, product you put on top of the of the muscle because you want to go really deep. You want to break that adhesion. And you want to be able to to free all that fascia. So you can see different technique I'm applying to this big quad. This is a classical uh, technique from sport massage. feels really good. You got all the legs in bad hands. You got the, the adductor. You got the rectus femoris. You got everything in there. And then you can even add uh, some work on the adductor with some mobilization. I like to grab all the legs and make uh, the legs feelings really good. Uh, it's really helpful uh, to, to move... Uh, in uh, internal and external rotation, all the muscle of the leg, so that she can feel how the um, the femur is related to this muscle and be more aware and more conscious of the movement that she can do, for example, in a gym to activate the adductor, to activate the external rotation. So even with massage, we are sending input to the central nervous system to be able to create uh, an awareness that it can be really helpful for athletes and everybody that is performing uh, um, high intensity activity, but even for people that need to find their own balance and their own connection when they're walking, for example, example to have a good balance and to have a good proprioceptive uh, uh, relationship with their feet with uh, internal um, 
adductor and uh, uh, hips. So now I'm asking her to stretch the, um, the piriformis muscle. I hope you enjoy this uh, connection I made with a stretching and, uh, and uh, massage therapies, therapy. So now we're going to see an interesting uh, Thai technique. It's uh, from Wu Thai. So um, I use this technique only on certain people that uh, I have confidence with. Uh, why? Because uh, you got to get really close to your client. You got to have uh, some kind of intimacy with the client. But it's really great the way you can release the mobility uh, you can create in the hips with this movement. You want to give uh, this gentle touch and uh, create this uh, really uh, wavy kind of movement on the hips on the QL, so that uh, all the sacro is able to let it go. And then you can even grab the, the legs back there to create more uh, pulling uh, into the femur, into the acetabulum, and then moving all around to create the stretch in the glute and in the QL that allow all the lateral line to finally find some, uh, some release. So you got to have a strong table. I broke, I think, uh, more than one table to do some tie on top of the of the table, and um, then from there you can uh, actually stretch the psoas, work on the, um, or even you can even work frontal. So this is a great one that I'm doing right now for the for the sacro. So you start with. Uh, some rotation and then you grab all the legs and you stop pulling up great technique i think the thai discovered so many things before the the western even uh, uh, have a glimpse of what you can do with your own body think about thai massage i think about like muay thai itself it's like a um, really advanced population, really great, great, great uh, massaging coming from uh, Thai, Thailand. So um, you have seen different way you can work the sacro. Then uh, we move uh, to uh, the prone position where we are working on the deep rotators. Uh, we are working on all the column uh, in the back. Uh, and actually, this feels really good because you have a good uh, uh, weight on top of the, um, of the spine. Watch out when you go on the lumbar not to press too much. We want to really be careful there, especially people with uh, um, hyperlordosis. And then in this position, you're able to work the back and stretch the chest. But what I like to do when I'm in this position is activate all the shoulder muscle, create that uh, functional range really movement of the, of the shoulder so that all the rotators are working, all the pec minor is stretching. So you're doing a double work that is really helpful when you want uh, to get rid of certain pain or even to prevent what can be uh, a rotator cuff injury or what can be um, a pain on a frozen shoulder. So really uh, add this technique if you uh, are able to do it with your clients because uh, it's absolutely a must. And then you can even stretch You're going to positioning your knee on top of the glutes and stretch and give it some vibration. Then, of course, a nice uh, rubbing of the back. And now we are back on the hamstring. Hamstring, always tight. Really difficult to find an athlete that doesn't have a, a tight hamstring. And here, what's better than some good weight on top of that hamstring to open up, to make that hamstring feel in the right position? 
This is even great for uh, if you have a cellulite. Um, you can just uh, uh, go up and down on that muscle and um, get rid for uh, momentarily for a cellulite. So here is a um, really slow fascia massage where I'm asking the client to activate because after the activation of the muscle, you have this 20 seconds where the muscle just relax more and you're able to go really deep. Now some work on the glutes. So glute medius, glute maximus, glute medius, oh, I really say glute medius, six deep rotators. We have six deep muscle in the glutes. So every time you work the glutes, you got to be exactly aware what muscle you're working on and how you move the limbs so that you can have a better contraction or relaxation of the muscle. So. Uh, I move the client in this four position, four position that uh, allow me to uh, work uh, in a slightly different way the uh, the glutes. When you use the elbow, remember this is one of the your strongest tool. So really pay attention how deep you go with that elbow. Some people like pain, some people enjoy uh, a good elbow in the glute medius and uh, they just like oh, enjoy the fact that you're like uh, smashing that muscle, but I am not completely agree with that theory. We don't want other muscle to get uh, activated in the wrong way when we're pressing too much, but she doesn't have control in her whole body because she has too much pain. You want to avoid that. You want to go... Uh, slow and deep, but slowly. He has some work on the, on the traps. I like this position because I allow you to mobilize better all the vertebra and the scapula. And then we're almost done. I, I suggest you, if you like my video, if you want to see more, uh, to go on my Patreon, is uh, Deep Tissue Lover. It's a, it's a BBW girls in bikini that receive massage. It's just massage, but if you like my client, if you like what you see, you can enjoy for sure deep tissue lovers. And this is the end. It's a, it's a good stretch of the, of the trapezius, but more than anything else is the mobilization of the cervical. Cervical that... Um, especially with around the shoulder, we have uh, this, all this tension in the upper cervical. And now we are finishing uh, with some massage on the head. Guys, if you like my video, subscribe, check my Patreon. See you soon. Thanks.